Minecraft is the best-selling video game of all time, but really, it's more than just a game. I think you can use it to create just about anything, and I want to prove that by trying to make my own video game inside Minecraft. So I decided to become a Minecraft developer for a day with absolutely no experience. This was a big mistake. I guess the first thing to do would be to open up Minecraft. If I had to guess, that's probably a good idea. Any minute now. Okay, so I should have an example world in here, just called like whatever. <laughs> Wait, what does that say? I guess you should listen to it, am I right? Um, but yeah, I just have this empty void with a stone block. Check out my insane skin. It looks just like me, honestly. And if I do slash reload, this hello world gets printed to the screen. And that's because in my load.mc function, which runs on startup, I run the command tell raw at a text hello world color white. I like halfway know what that means, which should be good enough. And then there's this other command called sheep. So if I do slash function polymars sheep. Would you look at that? It's a sheep. I don't really know what kind of game I want to make yet. For now, I'm going to try and get some things like spawning and moving around. So I think what I could do is do like summon armor stand at 64, 64, zero. But then if I do slash reload, there should be, oh, an armor stand. There was an armor stand. It just fell off the map. You can turn off the gravity. Thank you, Turkey Dev. This is kind of cracked, I can't lie. All right, now let's slash reload and it should be like right above me, maybe too far above me. Yeah, here it is though. I'll do 65 then. Yes, that's perfect. Now we have an armor stand. There's definitely some cool things you could do. This is one thing I found out that existed, which lets you create predicates, which are basically conditions. So you can run things if certain conditions are met. Like this is a predicate that lets you check if the player's sneaking, which I downloaded because I figured that would be good for player input. In your tick function, you can say execute if predicate polymars is sneaking. If you're sneaking, Execute as E type Minecraft armor stand, TP. All right, now if I sneak, it should teleport. Okay, I think this predicate thing just doesn't work. Let me watch the absolute command block Jesus tutorial. Maybe it'll work now. <laughs> Slash reload, shift. Oh wait, did something happen? Instead of the armor stand teleporting, I'm being teleported. I'm doing TP at S. Don't I need to do like TP at E? Oh God, what happened? Oh, it worked. No freaking way, dude. Why do I still get teleported? It's like we are both teleported now. So you have to take this and put it here probably. Now if I sneak. Oh. Yo, he moves. We have done it. When you press shift, the armor stand flies away. Now what to do from there? I feel like with the clone command, we can make a Flappy Bird type game. Like you have pipes that move across the screen and then the armor stand has to jump between them. Fill 10, 64. Okay, and now we have a little stone platform. When you sneak, you move it up by one, but otherwise you move it down by 0 0.5. This is like, good enough. What should happen now is that if the entity collides with anything, it should reset its position. I don't think that worked at all. So now let's see what happens. Slash reload. Oh, it works. Cause look, it's not falling. <laughs> That's so clean. That, that is so clean. We have a bird. Now I want to make the pipes move. I think the best way to do that would be the clone command. Everything in this vertical column, the one by one wide thing gets teleported here. And then everything within these two blocks, I just move over one to the left. If this works how I think it will, then we will have some moving pipes. Oh, there we go. 
Yo, it's it's looping. It's looping too. Do you see that? Oh, we have pipes. Is the gap correct now? No, it's still messed up. I think I might need to adjust when I start and end them. Two, three, four, boom. One, two, three. Okay, it loops now. It loops perfectly. Now I can build this ceiling. I want to make a border just around the entire game, basically. Then, I want to get some blue wool for, like, the background. Light blue concrete. Let's go... Oh, my... Screw slash fill. And just some random gaps. Now, I think you could technically play this. So it's still way too difficult. I think I will make these gaps, at least in the meantime, just make these gaps bigger. Wait, what? Why does this block not want to be there? Oh my god. I think this is actually a playable game now. So now the high score displays on the left, and with that, the game is officially done. I've made Flappy Bird in Minecraft. Oh wait, someone in chat made a bird head? The game is not done yet. I was missing something very important. Now we have officially done it. I think I can get at least 50. Easily, easily 50, dude. Halfway there. Let's go. 49 and 50. There you have it. I guess Minecraft really can be whatever you want it to be. The only limit is how much you're willing to tolerate the stupid command block language.